Alright, so how's it going everybody? And today we're looking at the best CPU GPU combos that you can get right now for I believe what well, this is November 2023. So there are a lot of options and without wasting any more time, let's make this short and sweet. If you like the video, press on that like button, subscribe, and then without wasting any more time, let's get to it. So we're gonna look at the best CPUs that you can get right now, and we are gonna pair them with the GPUs that you cannot have uh, any noticeable bottlenecking or any bottlenecking if at all. So yeah, this is how it's gonna go because there are more multiple gpu options that would make a lot of sense but there are only a few cpu options that would make such sense you know so first up with the cheapest cpu that we can have right now it's actually worth it for the money is the amd ryzen 5 3600 and i mean to go new and used if you wanted to get it used from ebay or aliexpress it would make a huge uh, sale or a huge deal for you and this is a six core 12 thread cpu that still bangs till today i mean this cpu was released somewhere in 2019 and still is one of the best cpus that you can get for gaming it will give you really good performance six cores 12 thread cpu that has strong ipc really doesn't disappoint up till now and the best gpus that can pair with it right now there is the rx 7600 and the rtx 4060 brand new you can of course go uh lower in pricing if you decided to go with an rx 6600 but it depends on what you can get for a good deal and what you can find next up we got the next best cpu right now for around 130 dollars 120 ish dollars this is the Ryzen 5 5600 non-X. This is a 6 core 12 thread CPU that's uh, basically a better version of the Ryzen 5 3600. It's got really good IPC U2, gives you really good performance. And uh, the best GPU to pair with this CPU with is basically the RX 6800 or the 7700 XT. There will be some bottlenecking, of course, but not that huge or blatant obvious bottlenecking, of course. But yeah, this is something that you should keep in mind if you want to get better cpu performance uh over the ryzen 5 3600 i believe this is the one to go for because the there is really no so noticeable difference in my opinion and there is a lot of a gray area in this uh cpu gpu combo budget because the ryzen 5 5600 right now is in a bad spot uh not because it's a bad cpu it's just you don't know what's the best gpu to pair with for around 300 to 400 dollars there aren't a lot of options there is the 6700 xt2 but yeah the 6700 xt as i told you before it could work just fine with the 3600 so unless you want that extra cpu performance which is really noticeable and you'd really want it actually yeah i would go with this cpu now next up we have the mid to high end gpu territory cpu gpu combo of course this is once you are capable of going to 4k gaming this is when you can actually have a 4k ready pc so we have two options that are so different from each other we have the ryzen 5 7500f and we have the one and only intel core i5 13400f now the reason i would go with the 7500f because this is the best value for money cpu that you can get right now so for 170 dollars you get this cpu from aliexpress you get some cooler decent cooler for around 20 dollars this is the best value for money cpu you, there isn't any cpu that would perform that good you know for that pricing so yeah compare it to a 5800 x3d compare it to whatever you want to compare it to this gpu could hold you just fine all the way up to an rtx 40 70ti and this shows how good of a cpu that is in terms of value for the money unfortunately you can only get it from aliexpress for a good price other than that it will be more expensive and it wouldn't make that much sense but this is a great deal if you don't care about the upgrade path that much you can go with a cheap a620m board from gigabyte and you're getting yourself a really good pc if you want to go the 3400f that means that you need the extra physical course but when it comes to gaming performance there is a huge blatant obvious you know difference in gaming but it will get the job done too and the i5 13400f i wouldn't stretch it over something like an rtx 4070 just that so anyways these two cpus would make really good cpu gpu combos with the 7700 uh xt or a 7800 xt rtx 4070 if you want to stretch to a 4070 ti you can only do that with the 7500f otherwise it will be some bottleneck in here and there now looking at the pre-final you know category territory whatever you want to call it we're looking at the ryzen 7 7700 and the 14600k now i would prefer to go with the 14600k right now with the ddr5 setup non-overclockable because it's a brand new cpu 
it's actually faster than the Ryzen 7 7700. It's got its drawbacks, you know, the drawbacks being that you have to uh, keep in mind that this would require a beefy power supply. Unlike the 7700, you would go fine with something like a 700 to 800 watt power supply, even with an RTX 480, for example. And you have to keep in mind that you need a really fat cooler to get this thing uh, cool enough. On gaming, you'd find it around 80 to 85 degrees, which is uh, okay for this CPU. But you're looking at a 20 threaded CPU, so that makes some sense for some people and uh, the Ryzen 7 7700 is actually cheaper and the gaming performance is not as fast but yeah this is a 65 watt TDP CPU compared to a 130 to 135 watts TDP and you have the upgrade path with the Ryzen CPUs unlike uh, you know uh, Intel this is the last gen CPU on this socket so the final uh, CPU that we're looking at which is the highest of the highest end which is the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D now we would pair that with any gpu you want uh the 3dv cache would make much sense for a lot of people you would get really good gaming performance the fastest cpu that you can get right now the 7800x 3d i uh, you would pair it with the 7900 xtx if you want a budget 4k gaming pc or a 4080 if you just want the most premier thing out there or 4090 if you have money to waste but keep in mind the super models of these gpus will drop pretty soon so i wouldn't really put my money on a 4090 because this would be a waste of money we've seen before how many times nvidia just scam people uh before dropping uh you know newer gen gpus uh for around the same price of the older gen ones but we're looking at like two weeks difference you know you'd find the rtx 4080 for the same price of uh, 3090 or even cheaper you know and the difference in performance is blatant obvious and it's really big you know so yeah that's been it if you like the personal like button if you're not similar to that kind subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace